Um, it's cheese day here in my kitchen. Um, I know it's Wednesday, but it really is cheese day. Uh, I make a cheese each week um, in the hope that down the track when we can uh, resume doing some workshops from home, I have uh, wonderful samples for you guys to, uh, to taste. Not to mention that we do consume a bit of cheese ourselves. Um, but I thought this morning I'd just pop in and sort of have a bit of a wander around the kitchen and uh, and just show you the setup to some degree and and uh, just show you how reasonably easy this is to do. Um, I think people get a, a little frightened off by cheese making, but it's not that difficult. And uh, a lot of uh, what you need to make cheese, you will already have. Um, mind you, I have uh, dressed my equipment up a little bit, making my, my life a bit easier, but uh, I didn't start out that way. I just used to use one pot on top of another pot filled with a bit of water to act like a bain marie. Um, but uh, anyway, so the milk, utmost and foremost, as you can see, comes in a, um, uh, a 10 litre cask, which I get delivered from Inglenook Dairy. And I'm using a, uh, a 12 litre stainless steel uh, saucepan. And I've got uh, spoons, a curd knife, uh, some micro spoons to be able to measure. And of course, I've got a water bath set up with uh, a milk thermometer. And uh, there's the sous vide wand. And basically what that does is you can see it circulates the, uh, the water and warms it up depending upon the temperature that I've set. And in this instance, the target temperature for the cheese I'm making, which happens to be camembert, today is uh, set for uh, 32 degrees. So I've put the, sorry, um, 30, 33 degrees. So um, I've set the, the temp for that, uh, that target and I'll put the milk into the saucepan and pop that into the water bath, set the timer and um, away we go. Once it gets to the right temperature, then we pop in some cultures, uh, including a white mould, which gets stored in the freezer, and we give that a stir and then let that uh, inoculate for the prescribed period of time. I think it's about 30 minutes. And then we pop in some rennet, that rests for another 30 minutes. Then we cut the curd, give the curd a stir to separate the curd from whey, which makes cheese, of course. And then once uh, that's been done, uh, it's stirred for a little bit of time, about 15 minutes, rested for 15 minutes, and then it's popped into cheese hoops or cheese moulds to shape the cheese. Um, then they're simply turned uh, about four to six times between now and when I go to bed and uh, left out overnight and in the morning bathed in a salt brine and then put into uh, the fridge. And I'll be ready in about probably about three to four weeks. So just bang on Christmas, which, uh, which should be lovely. Anyway, um, keep an eye on the website, www.craigcastry.com.au. There's a, uh, a tab there for um, uh, workshops when I, when I republish. I don't know that we'll be doing them before Christmas, but certainly during the Christmas break, I, I definitely will be through January and, and uh, the, the next start of uh, 2021. Um, on the website also, of course, there's a shop, an online store. Um, and if you're looking for Christmas gifts, there are all sorts of goodies in there, including books, cheesemaking uh, equipment and the like. Um, so um, pop in there and uh, just make sure that you, you get them ordered early because uh, Ozpost is still uh, dragging their feet a little bit. And if you want them for Christmas, uh, you, you should be getting them in shortly. So... Anyway, all the best. Have a great day and uh, we'll speak again. Bye for now.